Good morning everybody, I'm Tina McFadden and my tool that I chose to illustrate today was Google Slides. And the reason why I chose Google Slides to um, illustrate and to use was because I'm, I'm used to doing PowerPoint presentations and used to using that for work a lot. And I wanted to kind of find a different tool um, that is similar, that I'd feel comfortable with, that I could use as well. Um, the fact that it's free was also helpful to me as I don't like paying for a lot of different apps. Um, there's various templates that you can use. One of the cool things about Google Slides that's different from PowerPoint is that you can work with the same um, presentation um, but share it with other people so that they can also um, have some input on it at the same time. And then you can share your project and have it edited real time. You can embed videos and animations into it. Um, and it's just, it's just kind of a really cool tool to use. Um, it's really easy to start off with. All I needed to do was create a username and a password. And I came to this front screen here, and it just said, here you go. So this is where I started with. So after I created my username and password, I went ahead and um, looked through this page here, and I saw that it said that I needed to create or um, view the templates. So I was like, okay, what kind of templates do they have? And when I got to the templates page, I said, okay, they have some, some different, um, different looking templates. Um, personal and professional, educational, work-related, and I just kind of like the look of this lookbook type one. So that's the one that I chose to use. When I pulled up the lookbook, um, I noticed that the, that the options up here were very similar to what I'm used to using in my PowerPoint presentation. Um, you know, your file, your editing, viewing, you can insert, it says you can insert your text boxes, your images, different videos, word art, um, your slides, just like you would be able to format your slides before. So I went ahead and I just kind of started playing with it. I like the theme that was already there, but you can select different themes over here and change the colors and whatnot, but I like what was already here. So I went ahead and started messing with um, what I wanted to do. So it was... This was how to um, use Google Slides. And I said, well, let's see here. Let's change. We'll change the font. I can change the font size. If I think that that was too big, that's still probably too small, though. Um, and bolding, italicizing, just like you would normally. And going on in my slide presentation, I can add and delete slides as I want to. So obviously you can delete slides just like you would in your normal PowerPoint presentation. Um, inserting pictures, like say this picture. I didn't want this picture, so I went ahead and I cut this picture out. And then I wanted to insert another picture. Well, what picture did I have in mind? You can insert pictures from what you already have uploaded, um, taking a snapshot somewhere else by URL, your videos or your albums, and you can also search. So I said, let's try books, because my theme was going to be um, a book challenge type theme of what I was going to put on my, um, my slides. And... I used that one and I made sure that I, um, I cited the link as well as where I got that from. And then you just move it to where you want to just like you would any other PowerPoint presentation. Size it as you need to. And then you have your image. And I change my text box to um, uploading text. And then my citation if I need to as well. Um, you can also do animations. So when I'm when I'm done, you know, taking my notes and doing my um, my slide and I have ready for my slide. I can look for inserting animation. And it's going to tell me I can fade in, fade out, fly in from whatever top left, right. So I'm going to fly in from the top. And I'm going to do it after the previous slide. 
And you can do it whatever, fast, slow, or however you want to do it. And then you can play it to see how that looks. So that's going to come in, that, um, that word's going to come in from the top. And if I want to go ahead and also pick one for my picture, I'll fade that one in after the previous, which will be after that, um, after the flying in from the top. And I'll slow that one down a little bit too, so it's the same. So this will fly in, and then that'll fade in. So you can use animations to help yourself make it a little bit more um, interesting for your students. Again, you can insert videos or links, however you want to illustrate your points in your presentations. Um, and those links can be in your actual slide. What's also cool about this is no matter where I am in my presentation, Google Slides automatically um, saves my progress for me. So I never have to worry about if I saved or when I saved. It automatically will save it to my Google Drive. And of course I can share it with other teachers. If I want to look at it as a presentation, um, I can go ahead and look at it as a presentation from the beginning. Um, from the, just the notes or from the current window that I'm, you know, presenting a new window. Um, I can download it as um, a PowerPoint presentation, PDF, a JPEG, or a text file, or I can publish and embed it in the, into a, a web site or a blog. So kind of different cool little things. It's, um, the, probably the biggest thing is the whole sharing, being able to share with your colleagues um, to have them have input on your slideshows presentation as well, especially if you're working as a, as a, um, as a team on this project. Um, and then just being able to, to go over and, and work on it, sharing it, um, adding what you need to to it, and working, working however you need to with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my slide presentation tutorial on how to use Google Slides. Um, I have a feeling I will be using Google Slides more than PowerPoint presentation now because it does have the extra features that I do like. Um, hope you liked it and enjoy.